नमस्ते एवरी वन वेलकम बैक चिल्ड्रन आई होप यू आर इंजॉइंग द वीडियोज दैट आई एम सेंडिंग यू एंड आई डेफिनेटली फील दैट दे आर हेल्पिंग यू इन अंडरस्टैंडिंग वेरियस कॉन्सेप्ट फ्रॉम टाइम टू टाइम टूडे हेयर इन दिस सेशन वील टेक अप द टॉपिक हाउसिंग आर ऑल ऑफ यू रेडी फॉर दैट सो हेयर वी गो हाउसिंग वट वी विल learn here we we'll learn about types of houses what is a good and clean house and how can we keep our house clean housing buildings or shelters in which we live a house protects us from weather wind sun rain wild animals and thieves a house has different parts so there are different rooms in a house right so what is this first room this is kitchen and what do we do in kitchen yes your mom cooks food for you in the kitchen and drawing room where we welcome our guests bathroom where we freshen up and the bedroom where we take rest and sleep now types of houses people built different types of houses according to their need and the type of environment they live in accordingly houses are of different types big or small house kachcha or pakka house temporary or permanent house so let us pick up kachcha house first kachcha houses built of locally obtained materials like mud straw sticks bamboo etc when we say locally obtained materials that means the material that is available easily in that particular locality for example in some villages people might find mud and straw easily so they make houses using mud and straw but in some areas where bamboo grows in abundance people make houses using bamboo relatively cheaper to construct that means these houses do not require much money to construct easily destroyed by heavy rainfall and strong winds and are rebuilt as the name suggests kachcha house yes that means it destroys easily so it has to be built time and again seen in villages and examples of kachcha houses are bamboo huts and mud huts now let us look take a look at pakka houses built with stone bricks cement rods etc no these things seems to be quite strong these are strong houses which can withstand harsh weather like heavy rainfall and strong winds so that means these do not require to be built time and again found in the urban areas like cities or towns and the examples of pakka houses are the multi story buildings the bungalow the cottages and the apartments now let us switch over to temporary houses as the name suggest temporary means those houses which are movable they can be carried from one place to another people who keep moving from place to place live in temporary houses and the examples of temporary houses are caravan a tent and a yacht now permanent houses can you see these buildings these are the same buildings as were in pakka houses that means pakka houses are permanent houses also built to be used for a long time again examples are buildings bungalows cottages and apartments as i told you that they need not to be built time and again so that was all about types of houses 
Now let us switch over to a good and clean house. A house is good and clean when it has clean rooms, right? Then plenty of sunlight and fresh air. We know that sunlight kills germs. Large number of windows and doors to let in sunlight and air because if the number of windows and doors is large, they will help to escape the stale air and will help to uh, get the fresh air in. Then wire netting to keep mosquitoes and insects out. As we know, they cause many diseases. Then we have open spaces such as veranda and courtyards where children can play and elders can enjoy fresh air. Now let us come to the ways to keep a house clean. I hope all of you are helping your mom in doing that nowadays. Okay, all things should be kept in their proper places. Floor should be swept and mopped daily. Doors and windows should have curtains to keep dust out. And what if the dust gets in? Yes, doors, windows and furniture should be dusted regularly. Then, kitchen should be cleaned regularly. Food should be kept covered. Wash basins, bathrooms and toilets should be cleaned daily. Household waste should be thrown in dustbins. Dustbins should be kept covered to keep away house flies and mosquitoes. Living area of pets, if any, should be cleaned daily. That means if you are having a pet in your house, you should clean his place daily. Now let us take up some exam uh, questions. What are kacha houses made up of? And give examples of kacha houses. So first we will talk about the material that is used for making kacha house and then we will give two examples. Okay, kacha houses are made up of mud, straw, bamboo and sticks and examples are a bamboo hut or mud huts then we have what are pakka houses made up of give examples of pakka houses so we know pakka houses are made up of cement stone or bricks rods etc and examples are bungalows cottages multi-story buildings apartments then give two examples of a temporary house okay that means they are asking for a movable house so a caravan and a tent are examples of a temporary house then list three features of a good and clean house let us recall those three features a good and clean house should have large number of doors and windows to let in sunlight and fresh air. Wire netting on doors and windows to keep mosquitoes and insects out. And open spaces like veranda and courtyard. Then list four ways to keep a house clean. Four ways to keep a house clean are all things should be kept in their proper places. Floors should be swept and mopped daily, every day. Doors, windows and furniture should be dusted regularly. Household waste should be thrown in dustbins. Now let us take up some fill in the blanks. A good house should be Airy and dash. Big or well lit? Yes, definitely well lit. Big or small does not matter. Then windows of a house should be kept closed or open to let the fresh air in. Yes, that is open. Then household waste should be thrown inside or outside the dustbins. Definitely inside. 
so children uh, that was all about housing and uh, thank you for listening thank you for your attention and thank you for watching and in next session we'll take up the topic clothing till then stay safe and take care of yourself